the clutch delay seemed like it rolled out too far. 46 Yeah, like, what kind of I'm pretty sure you tripped the beam when the clutch was rolling out. And then it has to be right because that was like, bro, that was the hardest I felt it launch. Yeah, for sure. I gotta like. Dude, that first that first year, that was like for sure the most G's this thing has felt like it left. And it still went 8-9. <laughs> 128. That would have been like an 870 or an 8 side with 8 with 60 or something. If it was like a 1-4 or something. That's sick. That is flying. That's sick. Oh, dude, I had my mats back here. That would have been another mile an hour. That would have been another mile an hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we got 8653, 159. Seems to seems to really like that 159 number. We'll have to check to see what boost it hit, but we got a 1448 60 foot. This thing was poking out of the hole. How much boost it hit? Uh, it's, it's making a little over 40 pounds on the shifts, but it's falling off to high 38, 39 pounds. Oh, we need that scoop, man. Maybe. It's definitely not getting too right. so. so it's making the boost we need. So I guess, I mean, realistically, you want to try to go like an 850 or something. You just got to try to get that 330 down, like it's the 60 spinning, foot, really. It's spinning a lot in first gear. Yes, sir. It's going to be spinning a lot, so we're going to try to pop it down. Uh, and then, so the 130 to 60 foot. That would help. Five, 11, well, three is getting where we need to be, right? We've got that front track down. I guess, like, we know what it does out back. Let's run into the eight.
We don't need a hood. We're good. We don't need a hood where we're going. What happened? Crap. Bro. <laughs> we definitely needed air. That's what happened. 163. Yeah. That was moving. It's still not hot as hell, dude. I just got, I gotta hug you too, bro. Come on. What the f? Spin does the fault code for the throttle body. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy. I was like, please work, please work, please work. But yeah, that's it, bro. We're good. We're good. So, 85160. It still was a 145. So, the mile an hour just went up. Bro, so we got 830 in this thing or what? Does the feel different? It felt good. That the three, the three four felt crispy. I, yeah. I could feel it. <laughs> no, for sure. It yeah. felt awesome. Yeah. My man, one thirty one in the eighth. Four miles an hour, the eighth. Four miles an hour. That's five, 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 the eighth, dude. So, all right, guys, let's let's go show you real quick here. We went going consistent, one fifty nines, right? Picked up for about four mile an hour. We took the hood. Off. <laughs> so, our theory was correct. So, science experiment, right? I'm curious. I'm curious to see. Let's let's pull the log. But uh, so we pulled the hood off to see because we 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 know we've needed an inlet on the car. But obviously, we're like, you know what? At this point, it was like, will it affect aero and hurt mile an hour? But clearly, it picked up. I mean, it picked up four mile an hour. So that's probably that's probably 50 horse. You know. But damn, this shit's moving. So I think this is officially now the quickest RSX in the world. Period. All wheel drive, front wheel drive, like, period. Which, uh, I gotta give a shout out to my boy Brett. Brett, that slow RSX on uh, Instagram. He had a 86 something, 864, I think, or something like that. So, next season, I know he's gonna be coming for me. Because <laughs> he's got one nasty build, but he did good. What do you think? Trailer? <laughs> it's safe to say we're both doing hood scoops. Hood scoops for sure. Yeah. yeah. No. So so now we'll, next next step is for sure to get a, a hood scoop. Because that's like at this mile an hour level to get 159 to 163. That's probably like 50. Right? Sure, so, so if we can keep the arrow yeah. from all this not being open and get that drag and get the hood scoop, that's probably like 164, 165. Exactly. You know? I can't thank everybody enough that came out to this event. TRC Street Kings. We're here at Bradenton Motorsports Park. It's our se second time here, our fifth annual TRC Street Kings, and the the community support and showing was just absolutely insane. I mean, I can't thank everybody enough who came out. Everybody had a blast. We're still racing down here, so we're gonna be getting some awesome media for you guys. But that's it for this thing tonight. Um, I'm more than happy with that. <laughs> Time to put this thing on the trailer. No, no, take it home. <laughs> <laughs> on the three four shirt, they made 47 pounds. Like, it, it, and then it made 42. A little spike. And yeah, then... it spiked to 47, but then it made 42, and then it caught. It fell to 40.0 across. Okay, so it made 40 pounds. Yeah, because last time you were crossing at 38. This time you crossed at 40. So overall average, two to three four pounds. Two to three pounds. Yeah. It's like 42, 43 on the spike before, then it made 47. So five pounds on the spike, dude. That's a huge difference. So that, that so the torque. We're gonna see a lot it's, more torque it's there. It's pulling a lot of fuel though, so the back has gotta be gotta be up there. I think we might need to try that uh, that new 6870 next gen R. Pop precision. <laughs> when does it stop? When does it stop? Never. I'm like, I'll go if I go eights. That's crazy. I'll never think we did it with that. Now I'm like talking eight thirties. Might as well go sevens, yo. I know the six. It's all big part of the setup. You have to be you know. It's what you're doing. What you're doing. My best eight miles five five zero, and I eight one. <laughs> <laughs> At like what, 185? Yeah. <laughs>